Go ahead. All right, guys, we're back on Millwood. Hands are dirty because we just got done fi fixing the crappie brakes. And that's a good start to the day. Good solid fish, we're gonna let them go. We're focusing in on six to nine foot of timber running into just about everything. We got our crappie brakes fixed just a minute ago. Check them out, working fine, working fine. It was really an easy fix. Although I do recommend getting an extra knuckle because if you ever have that problem, you have a knuckle with you, you can solve the problem pretty quickly. I think we got it done in about 45 minutes easily off the water, you actually had time to eat lunch. And uh, we're back here on the water. We're back at Cotton Shed, uh, it's a big area and it's out of the wind. So again, thank you the original fish formula. The new three pound fishing 13 footers will be coming out here shortly. 10 footers will be first. They're gonna be out here in probably about 30 days. Sniping braid, all these great products. You can check them out at threepoundfishing.com. Don't forget about the hog fishing nets. If you haven't seen the hog fishing nets, you need to, you definitely need to get on that. So let's put more fish in the boat here. So Mike's got one right here, about 13 foot, probably a little left, yeah. yeah. Guys, hopefully you guys can see that there. He's right on it now, boom. He's probably gonna still kind of be a very aggressive fish. Here he is. Boom, he got him. And it's a small guy. We've been getting fooled all week. It's kind of funny. Well, second day. But uh, good fish, good aggressive fish on Millwood. No doubt about it. to give you an idea of the boat lanes if you have a look here we're going to be coming up on a lot of a lot of telephone poles to find see it makes a runway we like mike likes to say we're, we're about to take off so you can see all of these telephone poles right here staying in between them is so important on millwood it's crazy all right guys welcome to day two the first tournament fish in the boat with eggs. So we're gonna mark that spot. We're fishing right outside of your barrel's landing. And that is a dandy, that is a dandy. Day three of the pre-fish, second video of the pre-fish. And uh, this is a heavy fish for us. That's a 1.8, a 1.8. Good picture fish, beautiful fish. We're just gonna let him go right here. There he goes. That's a great drop. Yep, yep, here he comes. Big fish here, boys and girls, watch this. Boom, great fish. Go measure that one. <laughs> All right, that's a hog right there. There's a hog. Good start to day two. Is it the limb or the fish? Is the question mark. It's a fish. Wow. All right, we got to <laughs> We got to keep going through it, aren't we? This is. No, we don't want to catch any more fish. <laughs> There you go, folks. Keep going. Yeah, it's all right. There, there's another good salad fish. I'm gonna say a 165. If I were a guessing man. Mark that, would you? Yep. Did it work? One six zero. Oh. My partner Mike, uh, we're out here pre-fishing, and I've been asked to kind of show you how we apply bait pop and what color I use in particular. Uh, in particular, I like the blue, the original bait pop. I like it for two reasons. One, one is that it will definitely intensify the sonar feedback. But number two, it's a carrier for the original fish formula scent. 
which I really, really love. So I use primarily the bait pop on plastics. Um, you can use it on hair jigs, of course, but your applicator, I'm putting it and dabbing it on just like that. I usually like to get it on both sides, but right there. And I really do think that it adds to the look of the bait itself. This was a good intro to showing you this because I just whacked a big fish with it with my hair jig. I also used the original fish formula, crappie formulation right here. I love it, absolutely love it. But let me show you the fish that we just pulled out. All right, tournament fish right there. About a two pound fish, bait pop, your crappie formulation helps a ton when you wanna put these fish in the boat. Look at that, just an absolute slab. So do me a favor, check them out at baitpop.com and uh, thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. You can subscribe over there on the YouTube channel, the number Three Pound Fishing and uh, have a great one guys.